before the video starts guys I'd just like to ask you to just hit the subscribe button and hit the like button uh, it's free and it helps out a ton let's get into the video what is going on guys welcome back to another video so today I'm just going to talk about the infamous NRL send-off so the other day I got a comment from one of my subscribers explaining to me how since one referee was put into the league the number of send-offs between 2021 and now has greatly jumped from the 2010 to 2020 period. So I'll put that com comment up on the screen now and you can read through it. So this got me thinking and I went and started doing some research. So I, I went onto Wikipedia um, and I found a list of every send-off since they started recording them in 1988. So between the 19... 98 and 2001 season there was 33 send-offs so in three seasons the league had 33 send-offs after that between the 2002 and 2010 period so i made the jump from three years to eight years just to make the numbers look a little bit better um, so there was 35 send-offs in that eight year period then between the 2011 and 2019 season so another eight year period there was only 12 send-offs in the league. Through, through eight seasons of football, there was uh, 12 send-offs. And then we go through to now. Uh, we have 23 send-offs in 2020, uh, from 2020 to now. So there was always the thought of an NRL send-off being a rare occurrence. You never used to see them very much. And I grew up watching football, rugby league from when I was three to now really so it's been I've watched 13 14 years of rugby league and I watch it through this time and I remember like the chance of there being a send-off in a game was amazing like it was the biggest story in the league when people got sent off um, but since they changed the uh, referee count from two to one we have seen a dramatic change in send-off so we've had nine more send-offs in five less years so in the last three years, as I said, we've had 23 send-offs and I feel like we've had one like one every couple of rounds. Like I know there was a point last year when we had four, I think it was four in one round, three in one round uh, between the different games. It was two in one game, I remember. I believe that was the Tigers-Titans game, I think that was. Um, but yeah, it always used to be a rare occurrence. Um, you never used to see it very often. And I feel like it's coming more and more back into the league with one referee. And it's because there's only that one decision maker on the field. Yes, you still at the bunker. Yes, you got the video referee. But ultimately, the referee on the field, the main referee, he has the final say. So I think it's actually, I think it's been better, really. I enjoy seeing send offs, not the plays that lead to the send offs, but I feel like it used to be, it definitely used to be a rare occurrence. And you never used to see it. I, I think I, I'm happy with them using it more often. Um, the 10, 10 in the bin and send off. If the offense is big enough, a send off is exactly what it needs. 10 in the bin does not match with someone taking someone's head off. We've got to get that out of the game. And so far, I think with the send offs and some of the rule changes, that has happened. So I'm not saying that send offs are a good thing because you never want to see players get hurt but I think it does make the game a bit more interesting one thing I would love to see in the league though off the back of this send off in 10 minutes in the bin is a five in the bin so these are for all the little grubby plays that you see players like David Clemmer and uh, Junior Paulo doing like all of those New South Wales players <laughs> um, all those little dirty plays that they do send them to five in the bin it gives the team a disadvantage, it gets the grubby stuff out of the game, and it doesn't affect the outcome of the game too much. It still makes it enjoyable enjoyable to watch, but it's getting the um it's getting the grubby plays out of the league. And so far the send-offs, they've done that. They've gotten rid of the big offenses. And as you can see in the background, I do have some videos playing while I'm talking, a lot of these are from last season. There is a couple from 10, 12 years ago, but majority. I kind of wanted to focus on last year because last year is a really good example. I believe there was 
and I'm sure you guys can fix me up on this. I believe there was 12 send-offs uh, last season. So, there's definitely been that jump. And, I yeah, I don't mind it at all. Um, so, yeah, I think over the years, as you can see, since they first recording them, started recording them, it went from 33 in the first three seasons. So, it's kind of had the same impact in those three seasons as we've had in the last three seasons. However, in that time, there was two referees. But if we move forward, in the eight seasons after that, again, as I said, there was 35 cents. So it had dropped off a little bit. I'm not saying that it didn't. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying that it yeah, didn't drop off. Um, it definitely did. There was definitely less being called. I don't know if that was directly from so many send-offs being called in the first three seasons of it being recorded or what. Um, but it did have an effect. And then through the two, 2011 and 2019 season, as I said, there was only 12 send-offs. I remember watching some of these times, and they hardly even sent players to the bin, really, during this time. Like, it was a rare occurrence to see players get sent off at all. Um, and then towards the end of that, towards 2018, 2019, and into the 2020 season, that's when we started to see real changes and more of these send-offs being called. So I think the implementation of one referee on the field has has a has had a positive impact on the send off rule. Um, it hasn't affected the game too much, and it gets the grubby stuff out. It gets the stuff that hurts players out of the game. So at the uh, I'll just run down the screen every player to be sent off since 1998 to present. The most recent send-off was in round two of the 2023 season, and I believe it was Daniel Thiafiti who took someone's head off. Um, see, so yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below, subscribe, and if you would like to, leave a comment on how I did on this video for future reference, and I will see what I can do. Also, in the comments below, leave extra ideas because I am struggling to think of some. The more ideas I have, the more I'll get videos out. Thank you for watching. I'm RB. Peace.